Hello, my name is Ryan Boyd, and I'm going to show you how to install Neo4j 2.3. First of all, you visit neo4j.com slash download, and then you can choose from the Community or Enterprise Edition. We're going to choose Community today, but you'll want to choose the Enterprise Edition if you want all of the Enterprise features, such as HA and clustering. We're going to save the file that is downloaded, and then Firefox allows us to execute that file, which is the Neo4j installer. I'm going to hit Run, and this is going to launch the Neo4j installer. The Neo4j installer installs a tool that allows us to run Neo4j as well as configure the Neo4j server. Okay, now I want to say that this installer can make changes to my computer, and I'm going to choose some of the default options here, and then accept the license agreement. Now the Neo4j installer is running and copying over Neo4j along with a default database, a blank database, to my machine. Now I'm going to run the Neo4j Community Edition, and this presents this launcher that I then can use to start Neo4j. Neo4j is going to start up here, and then it's going to present a link that allows me to run the Neo4j browser with my local instance of Neo4j. Now I'm going to want to set the default password by first logging in with the password Neo4j and then creating my new password. And now I'm going to jump into some code, and we're going to use the movie graph, which is one of the default data sets available. This contains information about actors and actresses and movies and directors. I'm going to create that graph here by clicking on that box, which contains the Cypher query language code for creating the graph. The graph gets created, and I can see the visual output of the graph here. But now I'm going to want to run some queries against that graph. So first of all, I'm going to want to find the movie Cloud Atlas. And once I find that movie, I can double-click on the Cloud Atlas node to expand and see the actors and actresses related to that movie. Now let me see another query execute. We're going to want to list all of Tom Hanks' movies. And the result will initially come in here as a graph, but then I can choose to see it in a more tabular format as well. Now let's run a more graphy query. And we want to use the shortest path algorithm in Neo4j to find the shortest path between Meg Ryan and Kevin Bacon. So I'm going to execute that query here, and it's going to find the shortest path, which goes through the movies Apollo 13, uh, which Kevin Bacon starred in, as did Tom Hanks, and then another movie which Meg Ryan starred in along with Tom Hanks. And there it is. You have now seen how Neo4j gets up and running very quickly on Microsoft Windows.